Hello everyone, this is Vapo and this is mission 9 of the Zero campaign. Um, I got a new microphone, I hope it's much better than before, I think it's a bit louder. Um, I'm not sure about the quality because I'm still using my old laptop, meaning that um, I have to redirect my microphone through my speakers, which screws up with the quality. So um, when the com new computer's here, it should be uh, much better. Because you won't hear this this buzzing sound you're hearing in the back, not buzzing, but whatever, it like, sounds like some sort of static and you won't hear it later on. So um, this is mission 9 and let's get to it. It's a very long mission I think. Um, seems to be a lot of stuff to be done there. Right, I'm not gonna bother listening through all this because it's a waste of video time. So. Um, Bring the drone to the Kaidaran Crystal Formation, which is right in the center of the map, most likely surrounded by like 15 bases, just the way they love to make it. So uh, for this video I actually have something to talk about, um, at least for the first few minutes of it, obviously it's not going to last forever, but um, uh, it's a general query for anybody who's actually um, watching this, and I hope there's people watching this as I usually say. Um, What's your experience with massive graphics cards? Uh, I've decided for my new build that I'm actually going to get a um, an MSI. Um, uh, uh, oh my God, can't speak. An MSI Radeon 6970, which is actually pretty much probably the biggest graphics card in existence at the moment. It is it is lented or measured in length by at 12.2 inches long. So, um, as some people would say, that's a real lady pleaser, or impaler, if you want to put it that way. But, um, how, how is your experience? Like, I'm trying to fit this card into an Antac 900. I honestly don't think it's going to fit in there, because, uh, unless it'll be really, really tight. Or block your uh, circulation completely, so I, I just, I'm, I'm kind of stuck for it right now, I do not know what to do with it. Because it would either be this, or seeing as um, my money is not quite here yet, I can't buy the computer just yet. Uh, AMD announced that they will release the 7950 in on the 31st of January, and it's only going to be priced at around 400 dollars, meaning that um, it's actually going to be roughly the same price as this um, as this graphics card that I'm getting. So um, I might hold on to that, see if. Um, um, obviously it's going to be much better than 6970 has a higher bus uh, uh, higher bus lane and all this kind of stuff whatever it's called, bitrate or something like that and it'll probably have more stream processors all the, the good stuff basically but um, what's your opinion? would the 6970 fit into the Antec 900? or should I get something else? Um, another option I had was one of the Oh, what are they called now? The um, Cooler Master Half uh, X, I think it's called, or maybe there's even one Cooler Master uh, Gladiator, and I don't really know what sizes these are. I think they're on th the same size as the 900, but the 900 really has superior um, airflow, which is what I like about the case. Plus, obviously, it looks freaking awesome. So, um, yeah, what what is your opinion about it? What, what do you think should I do? Should I wait out for the 6970? Uh, it is going to be a step down from the 7970, obviously, because it's a, lo a lower number in the same series. But, um, I don't know how well it will perform. Or how, in the start, obviously, there's going to be driver issues and all this kind of stuff that AMD always has in the start. Even though they do seem to um, have stepped up a little bit and fixing them pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I really would like to hear some feedback. What do people think about it? MSI Lightning 6970. Pretty sweet card. Nicely priced compared to the GTX 580. Um, it does uh, apparently outperform the GTX 580 uh, from what I hear and from the benchmarks I've actually test or I've seen myself. Uh, actually, at least that was the XFX one, but um, the XFX one is actually clocked lower than the one I'm getting. So I don't quite know how that's going to work. Because the XFX one does cost about 100 euros more. Which is uh, very weird if you ask me. 
but um, I'd really like to know opinions. Uh, Sixty-nine seventy. It costs two hundred euros less than, or well, about two hundred dollars, two hundred euros in my country, less than the GTX five eighty. And I would definitely not get the GTX five eighty because it is just way overpriced. But um. MSI Lightning, what do you think? And also, what do you think of uh, the new car that's going to come out? Do you think it'll be reliable? Because I'm definitely not getting the 7970. I do not have, well I do have, but I do not want to spend $800 or whatever that is equivalent to in Euros on a freaking graphics card. When I'm only going to be running one monitor anyways. And while we're on that subject, I'd also like to ask if anybody knows. It seems from any benchmarks that I've seen, whenever AA is lowered, AMD takes the win. Uh, on a similar range graphics card, obviously. Whenever the resolution is lower, GTX wins. But whenever it's a higher resolution, then it seems that AMD always wins. And this has probably got to do with the fact that AMD likes higher resolutions uh, for example um, Ifinity. Ifinity has a massive massive resolution so I think this might have something to do with it but I honestly do not have sufficient experience to make that judgment really so um, as usual I'm just asking community feedback please gamer in need so yeah, after this, I always have loads of stuff to say about computers, but then when it comes to the freaking game, I my commentary is just pathetic. So, <laughs> I'm definitely not going to make a professional commentator anyways, that's for sure. Nor was my intention to do it anyways, but um, yeah. Hopefully once I get my new computer. Oh, microphone's a bit close, I can hear myself puffing at it. So, um, basically, this mission, you have a beacon, what you have to do is get a drone and bring it all the way to this beacon. It, I, as far as I remember, it takes something like 30 seconds before you can actually mine the, the crystal, and you have to basically just sit there and defend the drone, but I'm not 100% sure about that, I couldn't, like, don't quote me on it or anything. But um, once you get your um, drone there, you have to defend it and then bring it back, which I think finishes the mission. I do not quite sure, to be honest. Um, my guess is that's what happens. I couldn't imagine it going any other way, really, because, I mean... Well, they're not going to ask you to kill everything. Oh, look at that. Come here, you. How do they get these zealots around? Oh, I suppose they're dropping them. Am I seriously blocked off? I'm not. Good. So what do I have here? I have a nothing. And there we go, there's some resistance here. Oh come on, it's that stupid. Right, so I'm gonna get my crackling upgrade. I'm gonna get my level two attacks. Try not to run too long resources. And I really hope this microphone was worth it. I only paid, uh, I think it was an offer of like 75% off when I bought it for six pounds, I believe, from amazon.co.uk. For anybody who's wondering, it's a Planetronics um, Sound 300 or some something like similar to that. Um, I don't know. It looks decent enough. 
Um, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I think it's probably because of a crap laptop that my my volume is actually really low. But I can't do anything about that now. Hopefully, once my get my new computer arrives, the onboard graphics or sound card is going to be better. Even though I was considering just getting a 7.1 surround graphics card, seeing as they're like 25 euros, it's really nothing. Let's say graphics card, sound card. They're not expensive, so I don't think it would be much of a loss to just throw in that extra bit of money just to get a sound card. Although again, no experience, I don't know how good the sound cards are on the onboard motherboards. Um, I am getting a MSI, I think it's an MSI motherboard. It's an it's a Z68 or something like that, so um, I'm just hoping that it's going to be decent enough. Seems to be one of the cheapest ones. Not the single cheapest one, but um, cheap enough to not break my wallet because uh, obviously I don't want to spend all my money on a new computer. I want to have some left over and such. Shit, they got so many upgrades already. They even got zealot legs. Gonna have to get some of my own upgrades up. Should I get a greater spire? No, I'll probably stay with needles because they're just sick. Or should I? Yeah, I'm gonna go for a greater spire. Screw that shit. Oh, what? They killed me all? All of my units? Killed me all. Oh god, my English is just hilarious today. What I have, I have proto space right in my freaking face. Uh, it's just lovely. I'm gonna get carapace actually because uh, it seems to be something I'm lacking at the moment. They just kill me so freaking fast. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, they're not attacking here yet. So let's go see what damage we can do, or what damage we can't do. Okay, that's dead end. Need some more needles for that. Needles, which I cannot afford anyways. Seeing as I am completely low on minerals. What? I thought I built a hydrolysis here. Are minerals here? Loads of minerals here. Well, not loads, but there's a fair bit. I think there should be like a 3000 node here as well. Yeah, right in the middle. So it's not too bad. Not completely out of the, the match. I still have a chance here. Somehow I'm managing to have one gas and having it enough. Really don't know how that's possible. I suppose I better build some something colonies here because otherwise I'm just gonna get over them. And I can't afford to lose that expansion right now. Kind of needs it. I'm gonna get one of these as well so I can destroy these cannons without actually taking any damage.
Ah, oh, crap. Just... OP range. Hell yeah. So now that those are out of the way, oh look at that, fleet beacon right off. Even an Arbiter Tribunal. And Robotics, hell yes. Looks like I'm going to destroy most of their tech straight off, pretty nice. Right, going to retreat, make sure that this, these guys are attacking those. Oh shit. Carrier has arrived. Is he following? I guess not. Oh, no, don't kill that. Seriously, like, how much damage do these things do? They're bringing me to the red when it's like 1 versus 8. Pretty OP if you ask me. to actually get uh just get those overlords out of the way so I don't have to actually freaking make them again oh look at that no 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 you're not letting him get away Even if I freaking lose half of these needless, I'm actually going to kill that. Actually, no, I'm not. Fuck that. I'm not losing all of them for that. Yeah, I'm going to destroy that freaking. Oh shit! And these things aren't even attacking. Seriously. Freaking nice. They completely annihilated my base. Right, I'm gonna build up some defenses. Ah, crap.
Alright, so I gotta destroy their tech because they really are kind of fucking me over right now. Those carriers are just doing so much damage. Oh wow. It's freaking a lot of dragoons. Oh hell no. It's a waste. Well, wow, Mutilus, epi epic, epic fail. Oh, am I actually going to destroy their freaking tech? I mean, this is big tech right here, and if I could snipe that somehow, it would be pretty sweet. There are a lot of freaking dragoons there, though. So I need to take over this base somehow. If I can destroy this base, I'll be freaking flying. But first, I need to actually destroy that tech. That tech is just killing me right now. Alright, you start going over here so I can eventually... Should actually increase movement speed. Yeah, I will, just for the lulls. She now wants to waste some arrows at this particular moment. Retreat, don't retreat, don't retreat. Sweet. Oh shit. Oh no. 
What are these here? No. No oh, shit, that's not good. So much frickin' defenses. Give me a break. Can't frickin' afford to make more middlesks. Ah, oh shit, that's not good. Freaking hate rivers. Now, what I have for best. Oh, hell yes! I forgot about the Scourge. Hello, Scourge. Oh, shit. Oh, that's just irritating. Freaking killed all my freaking hydrolysts. Hello. Now one of these does one ten damage to air, suiciding into it. I reckon that's not too bad. I'm just gonna get freaking overlord speed because they are slow as fuck. Maybe get defenses? Should I get defenses? I will because uh, my things are getting killed too easy. These frickin' injured hydralists. Alright, so I'm gonna set one group as one group, or four of these as one group, and then another four of these as another group. That'll be two carriers pretty much annihilated on the spot. Probably an expensive investment, but. yeah. Not so bad, 150 uh, gas to kill a carrier, I think I'd pretty much lose more than trying to kill it with mutilisks. No, I need to get some guardians. And mutilisks actually. I do have some guardians ready actually. Are gone from here.
Right, so I'm not gonna touch this base just yet. I'm gonna kill this tech. If I can kill this tech, I will just move straight to that uh, greenish base. I'm gonna put this here and this here. And where's that carrier? Genius. Go on, one more. Yes. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Take that, motherfuckers. Oh shit. Yeah. That's your tech gun, motherfuckers. Enjoy. Yep, don't get killed now. No, overlords, do your job and bring these fuckers back. Good job, Hydralisks. Now you're gonna bring here. Should I just kill this base completely? I don't think I should. There's too many freaking defenses there. Get a load of zerglings. No, I can only make 12 now, but you get the point. Now I'm just gonna might as well get ultralisks as well, seeing seeing as I actually have loads of money right now. So I get a cavern, get the attack for that uh, I'm also gonna get Zergling speed. Probably should have gotten it much much earlier, but what can you do? Where do I send those? Where do you go? Oh. By what? What dares at the moment to attack me? Oh shit. Kill that freaking greater spire, I swear. Alright, so as soon as Carapace is done, I will head out. I have a fair bit of attack force. These are expensive as fuck. Right, um... It's just to build up my forces a little bit more. 
Then we'll be ready to go. What do I have these bomb to? Six, okay. So, um, carriers are no problem right now. Yes, yes, I know. You want to kill me and stuff like that. Alright, let's see what I can do with this. Attack move on everything. For the lulls. Do those two Zardian seriously just kill one Zealot alone? Oh yes, ultralisks. Just don't go alone. You go with it. Not much minerals to salvage here, but still something, I suppose. And I suppose it's not a macro hatchery. Yeah, I really hope that the microphone is much better now. Like, I would be pretty uh, depleted. It would be a big shame if my microphone was still shit now. It's probably quiet, but, um. And there's probably obviously that hissing noise in the back, but, uh. Can't do anything about that part. Not yet, anyways. Depleted or not, I need it. I think the other ones are probably freaking depleted as well. Almost. And depleted. Barely lost any units to be honest. Didn't even use lose one ultralisk. Should I just kill that yellow base straight away? Looks like I have enough of a force. And especially when I can build military ultralisk lol. setting and does it look like it's work hope so god kill that freaking reaver jesus christ oh this force got annihilated Definitely not cool. Freaking Reavers just destroying everything. Oh, what's that? Uh, they're gonna attack this, aren't they? Nope, safe. It's all good. Oh, look at that. Bug that water. So what happens when you tab that tab out in StarCraft 1. Yes, Blizzard weren't always that good at everything. They were once really... Well, I mean, I can't complain about this game. This game is pretty freaking awesome. Even with, you know, the TD, 2D um, images and low resolution and all that. But uh, obviously it's an ancient game. What do you expect? So, we have group 1. Minus the larvae. Don't need those. And we're going to need hydralisks. Seeing as I don't have any looks for these. Let's group two. Group three. Another group four. Let's go. Go 
go kill the Reavers. Reavers first. Oh shit. Another wasted force. Oh wow, they have a lot of units. Zerglings coming into your base, motherfuckers. Hope you are prepared. Let's see what I can snipe from here. Oh, look at that. I don't really need that expansion now. Oh, look at that. It's my load. It's gonna be pretty fastly mined out as well. Oh, there's a lot of minerals here. Yeah, screw you. Oh shit. It's never good. Ah, they're gonna die now. It's a shame. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm about to get a country to speed. Waste of money is. Group one, group two with three freaking ultralisks, group three, these don't are not needed right now. That would be more units, even more, even more. Don't quite have four groups, so three and a half groups. Are there any units around this thing? Nope. I'm not going to try to kill this thing now, I'm going to do a quick save. And I'm gonna send a drone, see what happens. Pretty sure I can. Oh, look at that! Orange Zerg is starting to interfere. Oh, get out! There's a drone. Ah, uh, no, does that mean that the Orange Zergs are gonna start attacking me and stuff now? I don't want that to happen. Lost all my freaking units to these fuckers. No, no, you shall not. Whoop, 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 whoop.
Where's my drone? I really hope that doesn't mean that the orange can like kill me now. Had enough of these fuckers. Oh, what the hell? Oh, Arbiter. No, it ain't. It ain't been harvested. Where's the drone? Did I really send it straight into it? Seriously, like, give me a break. No, you shall die. Oh, look at that. I think I'm gonna die now. Which means very likely gonna have to load up the game and continue like a bussy. for 10 minutes uh, I don't know I'm gonna hold on for 10 minutes if I don't make it I'll just cut it and uh, I don't know bring it back to this place I'll spread you out a little bit oh look at that that's not good Injured Zergs. Okay, loads of little Zerglings. Let's go hold on for six more minutes. Not doing too bad so far, I reckon. forces to bring over. Oh, look at that. A lot of anti-air. Sorry, a lot of uh, air. I will fucking kill you. Uh, wow, Storm was freaking OP back then. Like, more so than now. I didn't take this minerals, I'm actually going to be mined out completely by the time I'm actually done here. So I should probably set up a hatchery here. Yes, I will do it while I still have minerals. Out. By the way, if you're wondering why the hell I'm just playing around with the units, because I don't want one reaver to come in and just destroy a whole group of them. This mission is taking a lot of time. Really hope I have enough hard drive space. 
It was 20 minutes last time I paused it. <laughs> or 20 gigs, sorry. Where's my drone? Seriously, did I really not send it? Hatcher is gonna get up by the time I'm done here. Maybe it might, who knows? I hope I really just have to bring this back afterwards. It would be really suck to actually have to kill all the rest of the Protoss. That would take forever. Yes, it would. I can bring it inside a, an overlord either. Just give it like a little escort there. By little I mean a lot of people mobs. One more minute. What is this? Fucking kill the motherfucker. Hey, that's not good. They were so peeing in the day. Yeah. You're getting chased by a monster. Let's go exploring. Oh hell. How many bases are there in this map? I really hope I don't have to kill them all. Thank God. Alright, that is mission 9. Thanks for watching, as usual. Um, please uh, give some feedback on what I asked at the very start of this mission. If you like the video in any form of way, please press the like button. Um, add it to your favorites. It'll help promote my channel. Uh, if you like my videos in general, uh, or uh, look forward to any of my uh, upcoming playthroughs, walkthroughs, reviews, etc., all sorts of stuff like that then uh, please subscribe and stay tuned thanks for watching vebo out <laughs>